Hello and welcome to the second video of our Step 1 Ophthalmology Review Series. Today we're going to cover everything you need to know about conjunctivitis for USMLE Step 1. And as always, there's going to be a PDF as well as Anki cards in the description to help you study. So let's get into it. We're going to break this video up into four sections. One, what is the conjunctiva? Two, the three major types of conjunctivitis. Three, neonatal conjunctivitis. And four, the miscellaneous conjunctival correlations. So firstly, what is conjunctivitis? Well, if you break up the word, you get conjunctiva and itis, with itis referring to inflammation and conjunctiva referring to the actual conjunctiva. So what is the conjunctiva? Well, I'm glad you asked. The conjunctiva is a clear, thin membrane that covers the front surface of your eye and the inner surface of your eyelids. And its main function is to provide protection and lubrication of the eye. So if you have the eye here and the eyelid here, and then here would be the conjunctiva as it wraps around to the back. And here's a better picture. Here's the front part of the conjunctiva, and you can see it wraps around to the back. So for part two, there are three main types of conjunctivitis that you need to know for step one, a viral, bacterial, and allergic. And they all look pretty similar, but there's a few key differences that you need to look for in question stems that'll help you differentiate them. For viral, it's likely gonna be unilateral, but it can progress to bilateral, and it'll have these sparse stringy mucus discharge. And it's also gonna have these swollen preauricular nodes, which are found right in front of the auricle, which is your ear. And generally it's gonna be self-resolving, so you can just treat it with warm or cold compresses. And the most common cause is gonna be adenovirus. And here's what it looks like. For bacterial, it's also unilateral and it can also progress to bilateral, but the discharge is much more purulent, pus-like, and gross. So it's gonna be thick and greenish yellow. And you treat it with antibiotics like erythro and azithromycin. And the most common causes are strep pneumo and H influenza. And here's what it's gonna look like. For allergic, it's almost always gonna be bilateral. And it basically has the same watery discharge as viral, but it's very, very itchy. And that's gonna be the main differentiating factor for allergic conjunctivitis. And because it's allergic, you treat it the same way you would regular allergy with over-the-counter antihistamines. And if that doesn't work, then you can try antihistamine drops. And here's what it's gonna look like. The next thing we need to talk about is neonatal conjunctivitis, also called ophthalmia neonatorum. And again, there's going to be three main types that you need to know. One is going to be chemical, and this is caused by an irritation from the silver nitrate prophylactic ointment that they give babies. And you're generally going to see this within the first two days of delivery, and you treat it with aggressive lubrication. The next is going to be gonorrheal conjunctivitis, and this is caused by an exeria gonorrhea, and you'll generally see it from two to five days after delivery, and you treat it with topical erythromycin. The third type you're going to see is chlamydial conjunctivitis, and this is caused by chlamydia trachomonas, and you usually see it five to 14 days after delivery, and you're gonna treat it with an oral macrolide. One other organism that can cause neonatal conjunctivitis is herpes simplex virus, and this can occur anywhere from one to six weeks after birth. But honestly, it's not very commonly tested, so I'm not gonna include it in the chart, but it is in first aid, so I had to include it. And finally, number four, miscellaneous causes of conjunctivitis. So other ways you're gonna see conjunctivitis are gonna be measles virus, Coxsackie virus, Kawasaki disease, and also you're gonna see it with HSV-1, so herpes simplex virus one. It's gonna cause a carotid conjunctivitis, which if it comes up, it's gonna look like this. And one other small detail is that in some question stems, you're going to see a description of conjunctival pallor. And what they're trying to tell you is to think about anemia because the conjunctiva has blood vessels. So if you have less blood, you're going to have less blood flowing through them. So therefore you're going to have less color. Okay. That's going to be it for conjunctivitis. Again, a PDF of all this info as well as Anki cards are going to be in the description to help you study. See you next time.